I'm back again with another video. I told you guys in my previous video, my next video will be either me getting a new quad or me mud on the ones I already got. And I got a new. Uh, this is going to be the new quad for the channel. This is a 2022 Can-Am Outlander 850 DPS model. A lot of you guys might wonder why I didn't get an XMR model because, you know, I'm a mudding channel. But you guys should know after my last four-wheeler that I do a lot of modding to these things. And I just want to do anything how I wanted to do it. I, I didn't want to do the Can-Am bumpers. I didn't want to do the Can-Am snorkel, the Can-Am radio, the kid. I want to do everything how I wanted to do it. So I got the model, the one up from... The base model, which is the DPS model, so it'll come with power steering. And that's a must. I have to have power steering on my next car because that 850 high lift I had without power steering gave me a workout. But yeah, you guys, let's talk about it. Uh, it's a 2022 Can-Am Outlander 850 DPS model. Comes in this grayish, grayish color with the blue accents, which is a good color for me. Kind of like it with the blue, gray, blue, and black. So if you, you guys know I'm doing mods to it. Probably not right now, I'll get into that later on in the video, but uh, the blue accents would go good with some A-arms or something like that. And some uh, other accents with bumpers and stuff. But yeah, let's talk about uh, what all the, you gotta get when you get a 2022. Can them outland 850. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, it's 850 DPS, uh, well 850 model, D-twin engine. Uh, I wasn't going any lower. I thought about a 650, but I said I already had 850, so what's the point of going down? Either get the same size in a different mod, I mean in a different quad, or go up in size. A lot of you guys know I was looking for the 1000R XTP model, but like I told you guys in my last video, I'm 18, trying to start my trucking company. Uh, I don't have much money to be spending on a quad right now of that caliber. I'll wait till I get older and up in my channel uh up my subscriber account and all that so that youtube probably can help me out a little bit when it comes to buying the quad of that caliber but let's talk about this quad uh from factory it comes on some terra boss 20575 r14 which is a 26 by 8 by 14 tire on some gloss black can and rims which i really like if I do end up going with a bigger tire and a 14 inch rim, more than likely I'm gonna keep these rims because they're pretty, they're pretty good looking. Uh, in the back, it's like a wider tire. Uh, it is, in the back it is a 10 wide and the front is an eight wide. That's the tires for this car. No, it comes with no front bumper. It does come with a, a lot of folks like to call it a wheelie, a wheelie stop or something like that. So we popping wheelies. I need to get to learn how to do that too, pop wheelies. Because I barely did it on my 850 Highlander because it was a heavy quad. But this quad, I'm going to learn and hopefully get to know how to do it pretty well. Uh, a lot of you guys know, if you know about can now, these are independent rear suspension. Well, it doesn't have A-arms and the rear has trailing arms which exposes the axles, but I'm really not worrying about that too much. Uh, like I said, it doesn't come with rear bumpers. It comes with a rear storage compartment, a big rear storage compartment, and a tool kit, which I like a lot. And it comes with a rubber seat. I'm pretty sure it's not as uh, waterproof as you would think it is, but yeah, it does come with a rear storage compartment. Uh, like I said, it's just the one a model right up over the uh, the model right on top of the base model, so it's not too much coming with it besides the rims, and that's probably it because I'm doing most of the stuff myself to it. Uh, let me show you guys the dash and all of that, all these goodies. Uh, if you guys want to know where I got it from, Power Sports Montgomery, the dealer I've been working with for the longest, trying to get that 1000 RXTP model. But they ended up getting this in first, so I ended up getting this. So I didn't want to wait, and I didn't have that amount of money for that quad. Dashboard uh, comes with this dashboard. It doesn't come with the real big one like the XTP and the XD model. Come with, like I said, this is one up from the base model. Uh, doesn't come with this lock. That's one thing I really wanted on my next quad, but 
Hey, four by four do me just fine. It comes with uh two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and it also comes with sport mode. That's a good thing. I've never had sport mode on the quad before. This one does come with it. So that's another plus. Uh and another thing it comes with, like I said, DPS model, dynamic power steering. That's one thing I really wanted on a mud quad, because once you get inside those mud holes, it'd be, it'd be a pain with those big mud tires to try to turn these things side to side. And Jesus, my uh, A50, how did the game it work, work out? But like I said, you guys, not going to be a real long video, just a video introducing. I'm not going to do no riding today. I'm um, going to have a separate video on riding it, a separate video on mudding it, because you know I live in a... In a uh, neighborhood a like nice neighborhood and not too much mud out here but uh, like i was saying it's just basically a base model up but base model with power steering a different color basically my first can am so let me know some things in the comments what i should look for what i should do to prevent anything that from happening because i really don't know much about 850s or 1000 can never i have a 450 and a 570 but I didn't. I don't have a. Did my first day fit the one thousand can. But yeah, uh, let's talk about some stuff that we're gonna end up doing to this quad. Right now, nothing, nothing at all. Like I said in my last video, I was working on me a uh, trucking company, so I have almost zero dollars to work with to mod this thing. So if there are any companies or uh, sponsors or anything like that that are willing to, to send me out stuff to run on this quad to make videos on about your product, I will happily do so. Just uh, email me. I'll leave my uh, business email in the uh, description and all my information in the description for you guys to contact me to send me out anything you want me to use on the squad or any accessories or anything like that that you would like me to run on this and make videos on it and let my viewers know how good or bad is it. But yeah, like I was saying, the mods we're gonna do for this, what we have planned. I know wheels and tires, of course. Uh, snorkels. Uh, I don't know what snorkel companies go with. More than likely, I'm gonna go with a snorkel your ATV, Warrior Riser snorkel kit. I don't know if I'm gonna go with a radiator kit. I'm gonna see how it does in the mud. And if I need one, I will end up going with one. But more than likely, I will not. Probably, probably not. And it, yeah, you guys, uh, modern wise, I know I'm more likely to do some RJWC headlights, uh, bumpers. I don't know anything about bumpers with this quad. Like I said, most of the mods list, you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think I should do. And I will acknowledge all of you guys coming. You know, I heart react to almost every comment I get on my videos. And I will do so when you guys uh, come and let me know any of the mods to do to this quad. I was saying you guys uh snorkel risers that's more likely gonna be the first thing i do because you know i love water and i have to get this thing sealed i believe it comes with factory snorkels i don't know but i know the vent lines for the uh, diffs are ran up more than likely because i see a hose coming from the rear diff to the top so i know the vent lines are ran up uh snorkels exhaust i don't know if i want to do doors i've been looking at those rjwc Mode edition dual those those exhaust system look so clean coming out the real the uh, four wheeler I don't know if I'm gonna do those SLG Empire duels I don't know let me know in the comment section what you guys think uh, wheels and tires I don't know if I'm gonna do a, I've been thinking about doing portals uh, but if I do do portals they're gonna be a while before I can actually afford a set of portals for this thing. Cause like I said, I'm trying to start a trucking company and I'm only 18 and I'm trying to get my trucking company up and going and YouTube doesn't pay me that much. So I can't use that right now. They don't pay me that much, but when I grow my subscribers and views and stuff, I'll hopefully be getting paid a little bit more from YouTube. But like I was saying, I was thinking of doing portals, probably just do some floorboards, a two inch lift and 34 inch assassinated like I did on my other quad. I was thinking of doing 36 inch assassinators uh, and getting the floorboard through portals, 36 inch assassinators and floorboards. And don't run a two inch lift. I like to look at 36 inch assassinators when they're tall and narrow and not too tall and wide. Probably run some wheel space, one and a half, two inch wheel space on it. 
to make it look a little bit wider but yeah dad tires uh snorkel tune clutching all that cam all that stuff you guys let me know in the comments what you think i should do and i know i'm not gonna be able to do nothing for a while right now i'm just mostly having stock I, I do have that green outlander with those mega mayhems on let me know if you guys want me to put those tires on this or should i just keep the trail tires and see how good they do in the mud once i go mudding but other than that y'all you guys are gonna cap it off this video just a little intro and let you guys know about the new quad a lot of you guys been wondering why i haven't been posting the videos because i didn't have a quad i sold my old one and now i have a new one two post videos on so i will be getting some content out for you guys i won't be able to go to mud park unless i have an adult because like i said i'm 18 and you have to be 19 to sign a waiver but every chance i get to go to a mud park i will be there they post content for you guys so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments uh make sure you like and subscribe please so we can get this channel up and going uh get a little more subscribers get a little more views so we can trick this thing out make it look real good but yeah, that's going to cap it off for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.